Hello and welcome to Avoiding Big Brother. Today's video will be an introduction to Linux. For those of you who are interested in a career as an ethical hacker, learning Linux is a must. Linux was developed by a developer named Linus Torvalds in the 90s. Nearly all of the hacking tools that you will need are developed for Linux. There are many distributions of Linux and they fall under three families of distribution. These distributions are based on the Linux kernel. Linux is not the operating system itself, it is the distribution that is the OS. Linux is considered faster and more secure than typical Windows machines and many of the largest corporations use it. Linux is open source, which is why there are so many distributions available, each developed for what the user needs. I'll only cover two distributions on the channel, Ubuntu and Kali Linux. I use Ubuntu from time to time for OSINT and I've recently started using Kali Linux for practice with social engineering and ethical hacking. Both of these distributions fall under the Debian family. Ubuntu is a very popular Linux distribution that can be used in general, whereas Kali Linux is a penetration testing distribution that has many of the hacking tools pre-installed and available from the graphical interface with drop-down menus. Some of you will be aware that I'm producing courses around the topic of social engineering and some of the basic hacking techniques. I will be producing a course on the basics of Linux for ethical hackers. It might be a while before I release the course. So for now, I'm posting a few links to free training that has similar content to what I plan to do. There will be a link in the description to the Linux Foundation's introductory course for Linux, as well as a link to Network Chuck's YouTube playlist on Linux basics and a link to the Hack the Box Academy that has a course on Linux too. I already have two courses available for free, covering defense against social engineering and phishing attack techniques. Remember, this training is for ethical hackers and is dangerous. You should not use these techniques and tools or any kind of hacking against a person or organization without permission. You should consider setting up your own web server on your home network to practice ethical hacking techniques. You could even replicate a corporate web application, complete with a connected back-end database to hack into for practice without getting into trouble. There are also capture the flag competitions for those of you who want to do hacking as a hobby. So let's go ahead and show you some of the commands that you can use to find your way around the file system of Linux. I'm going to open the shell. This is the ZSH shell in Kali Linux. I think Ubuntu uses the bash shell. So this is where you're going to enter your commands. We'll also open the graphical interface of the, the folder. This should be where we are right now. And we can use some commands to check this out. So we should be in the Brian user account directory. So if we put in the command PWD, that stands for print working directory, we can make sure that we are actually in this directory that's shown here in the graphical interface. So I enter PWD, press enter. And we are indeed in that directory, home slash Brian. So we can check what's in that directory. So it should match up to what's in the folder in the graphical interface. And we can do this by entering a command called ls. This is like listings. So it lists the directories within that directory. And as you can see, they match up. You've got desktop, documents, downloads, music. It's all the same directories. So we are indeed where it's shown in that graphical interface. So let's say we want to head to the desktop directory. We need to enter in a command called cd, that stands for change directory. And after cd, we type in the name of the directory. And it is case sensitive, so you have to type it as it is. Press enter. And we've now changed to that directory, desktop. We can then check what's in that directory now, but there isn't anything in there. We type ls, there's nothing there. So what do you have to do if you want to go back to the Brian user account directory? We enter in cd again, but this time two periods, two full stops. Put a space in between it, cd space, two full stops. 
and then we've changed back to that Brian user account directory. We type ls and it's those same directories within it. We could go further back. So cd space two full stops. And then we're into the home directory. We could go back even further. I'll just check ls again to make sure and we are in the user account Brian. And we can go further back, cd, space, two full stops. And we are now into the root folder, that's just a forward slash. So we're sort of right at the deep end of the system. This is where all your binary folders, system configuration folders, directories are going to be. We could type ls and have a look at that now. And as you can see, these are all the directories connected with binaries, system configuration, hardware. We're sort of right at the deep end uh, of the system. So there's some of the basic commands of finding your way around Linux. I'll just end that with one final command that you can use, and this is to check your user account. And you can do that by typing in who am I, all one word. And this checks what user account you are, you are using, which is Brian. I, that's the only one I've got set up. That would be useful if you were an administrator and you had several user accounts on, on this distribution. That finishes today's tutorial. This is just a few of the basics for navigating your way around the file system of Linux. You're going to have to get used to using the command line if you want to be proficient with the Linux distribution. You can't use the graphical interface to work with the hacking tools or perform administration tasks. You have to go into the shell and work with commands. I will update you when the Linux course is available, although it could be a while yet. Okay, thank you for watching.